Good day everyone. In this video I will be sharing how I do acrylic pour in my own way. My friends have named this technique unique pouring. So let's get started. Now I'm mixing acrylic colors with water. I'm not adding anything else. The consistency you can see it's not so watery, not so thick. So have you seen melted ice cream when it comes down completely to the room temperature? That is the consistency we need. I changed my mind a little bit so I'm mixing uh, these colors together and I will be mixing a little bit of white to one of the colors. It will affect the consistency but you know after all i'm getting the melted ice cream consistency so no problem all right let's put some colors onto the canvas and i'm using my dryer i'm blowing in high speed because this is melted ice cream consistency had it been much more watery i would have used like medium speed or lower if not, you know, uh, when you blow with high speed on the watery consistency, you will have colors all around except in your canvas. It will be like a cartoon. So unlike any other day, it didn't go well as planned for me. So I'm mixing another color to get a new effect. Wow, that works. We are using the force of the air onto the liquid. So it creates this earthly design. That is so beautiful, isn't it? Because we are not controlling the design. We are let, just letting uh, the design to emerge. Just, you know... We are not trying so hard to control. That is the beauty of these techniques. These have some life lessons too. Uh, this technique is inspired by being budget friendly as well so i am a student i wanted to be uh, saving my colors or everything art materials and i still wanted to do this pouring so i do not encourage throwing these colors away so wait for me <laughs> wait and see what i'm doing with these colors i'm like um grabbing all the leftover colors and I'm going to create another artwork with that. This too has a life lesson. You see, when we try to fix something that is messed up, we end up creating and receiving beautiful results. Because, you see, life is not about being perfect or experiencing perfect moments. Rather, life is about accepting and letting go. It's, it's a balance between accepting and letting go and holding on, holding on to hope, faith and letting go of all the negativity and trying our best. Even if we feel like we are messed up, still trying our best will reveal us the best version of ourselves and the best moments, beautiful results, everything, you know, everything we want. I hope all of you are enjoying the blessed time of Ramadan. So the calligraphy I'm going to write on this is Arraja, which means hope. So Ramadan is described as the month of sabr, patience. So patience has two things in it. 
patience is not solely forbearing like whatever comes your way you're not just bearing that rather patience has something very important which is hope holding on to hope while waiting holding on to hope while uh, forbearing uh, that is different right so hope is so important so i think one of the main things about this month is hope we do so many things we do fast we do uh, good things good deeds and we try to help others hoping that it will soften our hearts and earn us good rewards and the pleasure of the almighty well i hope this video was beneficial for you and that you will try this technique so until next time bye